Hello widget watchers, welcome back to another video, in this video we are going to learn, how to create carousel slider in Flutter. So before starting this, please make sure that you subscribe to widget wisdom. Now first let's remove these unnecessary comment from here, then come inside this my home page, and then from here also remove these comment then remove this column widget and this floating accretion button widget. Now for adding the carousel slider in Flutter we are going to use this carousel slider package. So now come into this installing section and from here just copy this line, and go to your code editor and open the pubspec.yaml file, and add it below this Cupertino icons package. Then tap on this pub get option, so that it will get all the dependencies, then come into main.dart file, and here we need a list of things to show inside our carousel slider, so for this video purpose, I'm going to show network images inside carousel slider, so here I have added a list of string, which contains the URL of images, then come here inside this center widget, and here add carousel slider widget, then inside our slider first we want to show the list of items, so let's first add that, so for adding that, let's add the IMG list then we will map its individual items to a widget, so let's here add a container then inside it a center widget, then inside it add image.network then pass the item, in this case it is E, then add the required argument that is options. And in options, add the carousel option, this carousel option will help to change the behavior of this carousel slider. And one more thing for the items part don't forget to add the to list function, because this items argument needs a list of widget. And also remove this unnecessary container widget from here. So that was it for the basic carousel view, now just save the code and then run it, and wait for few seconds until this app is not get installed in your device, so here my app is installed, and our this slider is working perfectly, so now let's modify this carousel slider, so for this come into this, carousel options and here add the initial page to zero, then make the autoplay to true, and now you can see that, this slider is working automatically without any user interaction, now you can also modify the duration for the page change, so let's change the duration to 100 microseconds, and save the code, so you can see that, our page is switched so fast, so let's make the duration to 2 seconds, and now you can see that our all page are having same height. But we want that our center page should be highlighted more so here make the enlarge center page to true, now save the code and. You can see that, now our center page is having more focus than the side pages. You can also add the enlarge factor, that how much this page should get enlarged, now save the code and you can see that now, our center page is highlighted so much that we cannot see the side pages, so let's make it to 0.3 so that it will look normal. And you can also add the scroll direction for this slider, like here I've added the vertical scroll, and now our slider is moving vertically rather than horizontal, now let's remove this scroll direction as of now, you can also add the height for you items, like here I've added the height, now you can see that, our items have become much smaller, so let's also remove that, now let's create the indie actor for this carousel slider. So for doing that, first wrap this slider inside a column and below this carousel slider, here add the method as build carousel indicated, now let's create this method, and from here we will going to return a widget and we are going to return a container, and here for the child property of the container add the row widget, then here inside it add the children and then, we are going to make use of for loop, because let's say our items list having 10 elements. So we want that 10 indicator should show below our carousel slider, so that is why I'm going to make use of for loop, then. Inside it add the length of image list then here create a one more container, and inside this container first add the margin of 5, then add the decoration, and for decoration, give it the color of gray and then add the shape, so this container is going to have a circular shape, so add that then, here add the height and width of 5. Then remove this unnecessary container from here, now just save the code and you can see, we have this indicator thing below carousel slider, now let's set the main axis alignment to the center, then above here create a variable as current page and assign its value as 0. And then come into carousel options and here inside this carousel option add the property of on page change, and inside this make use of set state and then assign the current page index to the current page variable. Then here add a check that if i is equals to current page value, then increase the height of it, and do the same for the width, and do the same for the color like, 
if i is equals to current page index then color is going to black otherwise it's going to be gray and remove the const from here then save the code and you can see now our indicator is moving as per our page changing so yeah that was it for this video now if you have learned something new from this video then please do like and subscribe to the channel